Africa's wildlife, magnificent and unique. It brings in millions of tourist dollars each year, but there are some who prefer to see it like this. Have you got a visual on him at this stage? The search is on for elusive white rhino. The rhino, already regarded as rare, is only a step away from being classified as an endangered species. At the Songimvelo Reserve, near South Africa's border with Swaziland, the rangers are joined by a paying customer. Vumper Fischer has parted with around $5,000 to get just one shot at the rhino. The rhino's eyesight isn't good, but it's got strong hearing and an excellent sense of smell. At that point in time, I really thought that today is the day that one of us are going to get killed here. Yeah. That's how dangerous it was with the animals so close. But this time he's not using a bullet, instead a tranquilizer dart. Vumper is on a green hunt. Yeah. Yeah, that was close. Right? It's all in the name of research, but the danger is still yeah, very real. Close. There's a, a hell of a difference because of that. You, you haven't got a, a real rifle with you, it's a dart gun and anything can happen. And, you know, if the rhino charges, that's the only thing, well, the main thing that goes through your mind. What are you gonna do with a dart gun? That was an excellent one. So close, have you been so close? Right. Now that was good. Danny, give me an update to like, eh? The rhino, a dominant bull, will be out for about 15 minutes, and there's a lot to do. The support team moves in. They're collecting DNA samples to check on inbreeding within the 40 strong herd. 36. Okay, 40 over 125. 39. They're also implanting microchips to clearly identify the rhino in an effort to deter poachers. Okay, this is only a body chip. It goes straight into the muscle. And these uh, body chips, 7F7C112764. We're doing green hunts to just help us finance the microchipping operation because most of the conservation agencies in South Africa are underfunded and we are battling to get funds to do expensive type of operations like this. You know, we're standing two metres from us. After his hunt, his Wumpa is still quite shaken. Moving his mouth like... And he was aware of us. And I was full of cramps. I couldn't move my legs. I was worried that uh, I, when I get the chance to dart the rhino, then uh, I might not do it because I was freezing. Vumper is measuring the horn, a rhino's pride and its frequent death sentence. Poachers can get up to $100,000 for this horn. 19 inch. Asian men believe it to be a powerful natural Viagra and when ground down to a powder, will sell for a fortune. If you find a carcass in the felt that the horns have been removed, or they, sometimes they cut off the ears, then you don't have an identity of the animal. Um, but if you get the microchip in, in the body, you can still trace it back to the, the reserve of origin.
for Vumper, it's a family moment. His wife and children arrive to share in his triumph. The green hunt seems to have had a profound effect on the great white hunter. Is that better than killing him? For sure. For sure. I'll never shoot anything in my life again. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. Really? For sure, yeah. The moment is recorded for the family album. Then it's Wumpa's wife, Liffy, who will continue the hunt. A little bit nervous, but at the moment I'm also excited because it's the first time that I'm doing a green hunt. While Liffy goes in search of her quarry, I go into the reserve with Annalise. The white rhino is this woman's work and she takes it very seriously. Well, they're pretty rare species, especially in Kumalanga, and there's always the threat of poachers coming in. So it's, it's important to us, and because we don't have that many, it's important for us to look after them and, and conserve them. It's our responsibility as a conservation organisation. Annalise watches over the herd. White rhinos are her passion. Well, what I re really like to do is, you know, I, I'll get downwind and then maybe get up into a tree and have them sort of grazing towards me. And, you know, just to get that sounds of them communicating the cow with the calf and you know, hearing them, the, the skins touching and they, they will go right underneath you without realising you're there. Even if they smell you, they, they never think of, of looking up. So they won't look up into the tree to see? No, well they can't lift their heads that high and, and they don't expect somebody to sit there. So it's quite a thrill sitting there and having these rhinos walk straight underneath you. So what is it about them that really fascinates you? I don't know, I suppose it's their size, the, the fact that they, they're so huge and still they can be very gentle, they're very docile, and I don't know, they're just, they're just magnificent, magnificent creatures. Liffy is now within range, her target a young rhino cow. With tranquilizers rather than live ammunition, there are few second chances. That was no problem. It was not a sensation. He was standing in the back. He had to wait until he had to drive. And he had drive. The cow and calf combination presents double trouble. Both need to be sedated at the same time so the rangers can work free of the danger of a charging rhino. Okay, Dan, it like me for me of my calf so pile spike me, but you need where my cliff and the other pile drop me. The chopper drop saves the day. Double darting is unusual. This time, the second dart guarantees success. Watch your ball coming. The green hunt is still in its early stages, and members of the public are only allowed to accompany the rangers on a limited number of expeditions each year. There's a long list of hunters, all eager to take part. It's a means to an end, a way to turn the routine darting of animals into the generation of much needed funds. In South Africa, some people still uh, frown upon it, but I think in the end, if you handle it correctly and, and within ethical boundaries, it, it becomes a little bit of a win-win situation. You have the hunter, he's used to shooting an animal, he's got all his trophies there. Now it's a new experience, he, 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 can, he has to get very close to the animal. Um, we get our data collected for, for management purposes and the animal lives in the end. Now track zone is going to wake it up like an instant. Okay, he's in. Okay. He's in. Right. 
I've got a spike! It's not just the rhinos that wake up feeling a little different. For hunters like Wumper, it's a novel experience. After a lifetime of shooting to kill, it's a turnaround to celebrate the one that got away. The, the special about darting a rhino, other than a kill it, it's still out there, alive and happy. That was special.